Number seven, see it as a room full of friends. And I talk about this on day one, how important attitude is in our confidence. And Mm -hmm. when we feel like we are lacking some confidence, especially socially, it's easy for introverts and those of us with social anxiety to lack confidence socially. Well, it's very easy for us to see and picture and visualize all the ways we're going to fail. Mm -hmm. All the ways that people are going to find us uninteresting, boring, lame. But science has shown that people with confidence before an event, before a str- potential stress, they see all the ways that things can go in their favor. They see success, they visualize success. Well, let's talk about success socially. Visualizing it as a room full of friends and not strangers who are gonna judge you or find you awkward, but instead viewing the room as a bunch of people that are already my friends, well, that's a great visualization to start with. We have Edgar Guess as a, as a- as a poet, in 1915, he had wrote, there are no strangers here, only friends you haven't met yet. I've heard that saying many times, and it's a, it's a great one. But you also have to train yourself to think in that manner, because if, certainly, if you have anxiety, that's one thing. You're already starting from a place of fear, but just, if you haven't put yourself in that position many times, it's easy to feel judgmental because you're uncomfortable. And so, all of us have to come from that place when we're uncomfortable we have to then rationalize why we're uncomfortable and the easiest thing to say is well because everyone here is dressed funny and they're they're pretentious and they're hipsters and they're this and they're that put them in the out group that's the easiest boom now they're out there and now you can justify feeling the way you do and then but the thing that happens out of that is once you've put them in the out group so your body language is usually going to exhibit that as well, which only forces them in a position to mirror that back. And now you have that thought reinforced. And now you have those people looking at you uh, as an out group and you're looking at them as the out group. Now you cannot have a good evening with two opposing forces right. looking at it in that manner. Listen, instilling a new mindset is not easy. This whole mindset of, view it as a room full of friends can be difficult when we don't have very many friends and connections and we don't feel that people judge us properly or that we can make a good first impression. And a TEDx speaker, Kelly McGonigal, talks about how to effectively manipulate and and change your mindsets. And it's really a three-step process. Number one is simply learning the new perspective, which is what we're doing now. We're Mm -hmm. listening to this new idea, this new concept of view the room as it's a room full of friends instead of a room full of strangers. So we learned a new perspective. Now, we have to do it as an exercise. Go out there, after writing down this mindset, go out there and practice it. Pretending people are your friend already. Treating everyone like a friend instead of treating them like a stranger. And the third thing you have to do to make this mindset stick with all of her research is you have to share it with other people. How great is that? It's pretty awesome, it's remarkable, you learn it, you practice it, then you share sure. with other people, and all of a sudden that new mindset sticks. How empowering is it when you walk into the room and feel that everyone is already your friend? Well, you're coming, you're as you mentioned, you're coming from a place of power. And most importantly, though, when we hear something like this, it, some of us could get rather excited. I know that in the beginning of my stages of really getting into self-development, I would hear mindsets like that, and I would want to go out. Then I get there, and I see... The, all the overwhelming feelings start to hit because the mindset is everyone there is my friend. Okay, well, then I should be able to talk to everybody in this room. Well, now the expectations oh, yeah. now. are just ridiculous because now I have to run the room in order for me to feel that this mindset is now taking place. It is a process. We, ha- we have to go out now with this mindset, with obtainable goals that allow us to slowly it to seep in. It's not going to be, I listen to everyone out there. I would love for these mindsets to be a light switch. And some can be, but most not. Right. And this, this is a tricky one when we're coming from a place of scarcity where maybe we don't have very many friends. We have some acquaintances. We're trying to get things moving and burn off some of that social anxiety. But as Kelly pointed out for us, if we learn it, write it down, practice it and start sharing it with others, it becomes a mindset that we can adopt more easily. 